there's probably something else that we should touch on. We've got a little surprise for you. There is, hopefully only one, <laughs> baby in there. of you who are new around here welcome and please do stick around because for the next few minutes you're probably going to be not understanding what I'm talking about because you haven't been tuning into our channel but it will give you a little bit of a background as to who we are and um, then we'll get into more of the video but I definitely have some explaining to do but first of all I want to say that I'm so excited to be back I've been wanting to film for so long now but as some of you may know our bus um, broke down about five weeks ago or maybe even six weeks ago now and we have been I want to say patiently but probably more impatiently waiting for it to get fixed it's been at the mechanics for that long and we have been staying at my mum's house yeah just waiting for it to get fixed it's been a pretty uh, stressful process and um, yeah we've definitely had to really try and focus on the positive which at the end of the day became a lot easier as time went on but when it all first happened when our bus first broke down um yeah it was pretty hard for us and for those of you who are new watching we live in our toyota coaster bus full time it's a short wheelbase and yeah me and my partner live in there with our almost two-year-old tallo guys he turns two next week and i cannot even so basically I really wanted to film today because today is a really good day you guys. Today we are getting our bus back from the mechanics and in two days from now we are going to hit the road. So we are so excited. We've been waiting, waiting, waiting and it was kind of one of those things where like at the end of each week the mechanic would be like oh yeah you'll have it by early next week and then the next week it would come and he'd be like oh yeah early next week and yeah we basically um we had to get a completely new engine engine we didn't realize that it was going to be such a major issue we thought it was quite a small issue when um the bus first broke down and that's what the mechanic thought as well and it ended up just escalating into needing a new engine so we've got a fully refurbished engine whatever that means so we're going to spend the next two days cleaning the bus um, stocking up on food because there's nothing in there putting all of our belongings back in there because like half of our stuff is in here half of it's in there and yeah it's just a little bit of a little bit chaotic but we're going to get that done and then we're going to hit the road we're heading north so we live in australia and we're heading to tropical north queensland i feel like that's kind of covered everything about the bus but there's probably something else that we should touch on We've got a little surprise for you. There is, hopefully only one, <laughs> baby in there. I feel like my tummy is so big. Almost 14. I'm not even 14 weeks. Like, what is that? I'm just not sure. That's why I said hopefully only one, but look, if there's two in there, we'll deal with that when we come to it. I'm sure it will be a joyous occasion. That is what has been happening around here. Like I said, I'm almost 14 weeks, a few days shy of 14 weeks. I've known since I was five weeks pregnant. Tello has been super sweet. He's been kissing my belly. I'm going to try and get some footage of that for you guys today. And yeah, um, now that the cat's out of the bag, I guess that's also a huge reason why I first stopped filming um, because I was so sick. Like, I never vomited or anything, but like early pregnancy 
is full on like it is no joke you guys and I was so nauseous all the time and so exhausted like way more than what I was with tallow Zach has been so amazing even up until now I've been sleeping in every morning and Zach's just been having tallow for like the bulk of the day and I've been getting to just have time to myself so yeah that's another huge reason as to why we completely slowed down on social media and um yeah we were just trying to deal with early pregnancy i'm so excited to share this journey with you guys i feel like i have a voice on social media and so i really want to use that to um help inspire others within their own pregnancies or parenthood or just sharing with others that what pregnancy and birth can be like away from the medical model if you guys know us then you know that we're not very conventional people um, and our pregnancy and birth will not be very conventional at all. So I'm going to share that more with you guys in like in other videos as time goes on. But I just feel really inspired to show you guys what a pregnancy and a birth can look like away from the medical model. Away from, I guess, just like drama. But having said that, I know that this is a really controversial topic. And I, I'm just, I guess I'm kind of prepared for whatever as the time goes on if, if there's negative feedback that comes on comes to us because this is social media this is youtube um you know I, i'm kind of like prepared for that when it comes down to it we're just doing what is true to us and what feels right for us and we want to share that and like i said we just want to show others that pregnancy and birth can be a really beautiful non-stressful event in one's life hopefully by us doing this and sharing this more women or families may have courage to share their own stories because like I said it's, it's a pretty hot topic it's a pretty con controversial topic and so I completely understand why people wouldn't want to share their stories with others when they're kind of turning away from the norm of what society says to do within pregnancy and birth so hopefully we can kind of just inspire others to share their stories if they are doing that and um, we can just be like a beacon for those who want to step into more of their power i suppose and find be able to find resources within what they're looking for so yeah that's all i have to say about that thank you for listening if you've made it all the way down to here and now we're going to get into the vlog which i am so excited about all right i'm gonna go get this baby some food with my other baby and we'll see you in a little bit. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Is that our bus? Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's that? It's a brand new engine. Yay, we're back in our home. Zach's just going around to turn the lights on because whilst the bus was gone, everything was turned off. So, we'll see when it turns back on. What's up, Tao? Are you happy to be back in your home? Whoa! Wahoo! We've got light again. Oh my gosh, we're so stoked. Though, this place... Is a bit of a mess. Careful, Bubba, some glass, okay? Just something some glass. smashed when we got something to when we got the bus towed. Something smashed under there. Yeah, we've got to like we've got like no ingredients. We need to stock up. Oh, there's chickens out the back, and we need to clean everything. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Today, the bus came back way later than what we thought. We thought we were going to pick up the bus around midday and it's now like, it's almost six I think. I think we're going to take you guys along for the ride tomorrow. We're going to be going shopping. We're going to go food shopping, get everything we need and then we're going to leave the next day. So happy to have this back here though. It just feels surreal after all that time. I'm going to leave you guys here for now and we'll see you in the morning. Hey you guys, good morning. So it is the next day now and I'm so happy to be back in the bus. We have lots to do today because we're going to start driving up towards Cairns tomorrow to tropical north Queensland. I've got some sage to kind of just get it feeling nice and homey again after being away at a dirty old mechanics for six weeks. And hey bub, 
Yeah, I'm going to turn the vacuum on now. We've also got to take off our sheets and kind of like we need to wash them and just, yeah, pack everything up. We're going to go to the shops, like I said, stock up our pantry. It's going to be a big day. It's about nine o'clock now, I think, in the morning. So, yeah, let's get cleaning. I'm gonna go put on this load of washing. We've also got a few more loads to do so that everything's clean and we can have yeah, a whole set of clean clothes, sheets and towels. All right, you back in your feet? You ready to go stack up our fridge and pantry towel? We're gonna go get some snacks because <laughs> there's literally nothing to eat at home. Yay. Should we see if it works? Start her up. Yay! Woohoo! Let's do it! What happened? <laughs> oh no! Did you steal the seeds? Did you? That's alright. So we quickly remember what it's like to drive with a toddler. I just vacuumed. And that's what happens? Sunflower seeds everywhere, hey? Oh, and we wet your shirt, so we have to put a new top on. Oh. It's starting to feel like summer. Beautiful. It's so hot today. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, who's that? Oh, here, put this one on. Anyway, you guys, we are not going to take you into the shops with us because... Oh, hello. It's not a good idea. And yeah, it's not fun trying to film when you have a toddler and you're trying to chase him and get everything from the shops. So yeah, we'll show you guys what we bring back. Should we do it? Uh, uh, oh, oh dirty, dirty one. You put it up on the bench. Oh my gosh, it is hot. The boys are just enjoying some coconut water. And so we just went to the health food store and we got most of the stuff that we need. Um, we're going to go to the farmer's market in the morning around here one last time before we leave. But yeah, basically this is like, we have nothing left in here. Like there's a jar of chia seeds and chamomile tea and that's it. So we, you know, we eat a lot of nuts and seeds. We make granola all the time and that kind of stuff. I'll just empty this. So we just got like all of our nuts and seeds, hemp seeds, lentils, legumes, chickpeas, all that kind of stuff. Um, we got some ingredients for dinner tonight with my mum and we got some stuff in here like cashew cheese and tempeh back there. Tomorrow morning we're going to go and get some fruit and veg and that's pretty much it. We're also going to go to the normal supermarket like Woolworths and we're just going to get some oats some cans of coconut cream and that kind of stuff. Some rice, because it's definitely cheaper there. This cost us quite a lot, but we, yeah, like I said, every, like we just bulked up on nuts and seeds and everything's organic. So, yeah, we're set for hopefully a while. What's the plan now? I think we should put, tell I will go to sleep in his chair. Yeah. And then we'll drive to the supermarket. Yeah, and then we'll- And then we'll go home. Ow! <laughs> Come a kiss? Oh. Love you. Are you going to kiss the camera? Or maybe not the lens. <laughs> you 
kiss the screen up there. Oh. Ah. Hey, we're gonna go driving now. Love you. Any time, sleep time. You say love you. <laughs> it is a new day but it is quite late I think it's one o'clock ish and yeah we've just had such a hectic morning we hadn't finished everything that we <laughs> oh Tello's just playing outside um yeah we hadn't finished everything as quickly as we thought so we had to do some stuff this morning um we also had to clean inside my mum's house the places all the rooms that we used so yeah once we had finished we then had to come to the markets which is where we're parked up at now and yeah we got here so late uh, we usually get here around between like 8 and 9 in the morning. We got here at 11.30 or 11.15 and it closes at 12. Like all the stalls st start sh shutting. Start shutting. So yeah. Oh, Tal is just having a great time. I'm pulling the bark off the tree. Because he doesn't want to nap. And we are parked up amongst the paper bark trees. pretty special we were planning on driving like three hours today up to our friend's place three hours north of here but yeah we are pretty exhausted so we're just gonna stay around this area Zach brought to my attention that we had been at my mum's house out of the bus Look down. Oh. basically for three months which is a very long time so we're so happy to be back in the bus we got all of our fruit and veg we got heaps of passion fruit, which is my favourite at the moment. Not on the road, bud. Avos I'm and say, Bobo, that's where the cars are. We've got a stocked up fridge and everything's looking a bit more fuller. All in here. Yeah. Look at the spider tail. Oh Ooh, wow. Did you see him? Look. Is that a huntsman? Little huntsman. <laughs> Not too close to him. You see? Yeah. Gentle. Don't touch gentle him. With him. Let's put him back on the tree. You say, go on the tree. Go on. There he goes. There he wow. Goes. Where'd he go? There. Oh. This is a little baby huntsman spider. Just be yeah. gentle. Because he gets a bit scared, okay? <laughs> Zach lets Tello play with spiders and I'm a little bit more like alright they're there, I don't mind them being there but maybe you don't like let Tello put his hand in the spiders anyway this is where we're parked right now I love these paper bark trees, these ones they're so amazing Oh, it's so good to be back in our home. Uh, and so this is what our bus looks like right now after we've fully got everything in. We still need to put a few things away, but it's so good to be back in our bus. Okay, have some more. Ah, oh. oh, it seriously is the little things, isn't it, Tao? Hey, hey, like this is just so nice. I missed this so much. Ah, <laughs> oh, kisses. Cut it. Oh, <laughs> not the lens. <laughs> what is it? What Tell is it? It's just like it's got to be something about downsizing and just being out, just like being and not trying to fit too much else in. In and I don't know. As soon as you're in a house, um, I don't know. There's just like so much to do and so much to get done. So much to clean. 
as we found out this morning. Ow. Ow. It's just like so nice that like this is our dining room table, you know? Can't love the cars, Papa. There's a, what is it, an AFL? Football game. Yeah. There's a football game going on over there, so it's not completely quiet, Ow. but like it's just so beautiful here. Like what even? You gonna have a nap? <laughs> no nap. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It is pretty late in the afternoon now. We all had a nap. Hey. And we have just discovered that there are little midges everywhere. Oh, are they midges? Sandflies. Sandflies. So we just came out here to have our tea. But I think we're going to drink it pretty quickly. And then we're going to find somewhere to make dinner. We also have very quickly remembered how quickly your children get dirty when you're on the road. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Little high pants, eh? <laughs> what are you doing? I've got the midges on you, hey? Yeah, and Mama's got them too. We're going to get in the car and drive somewhere else, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it really helps support our channel. Hey! Mwah. If you haven't already subscribed, then don't forget to do that. And yeah, we'll be seeing you in the next video when we're on the road. Well, we're already on the road, but when we're further down the road. <laughs> Up the road a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you guys.